on today's video tutorial, we're going to use these funky little things that I found at Painted Tree um, to make a wreath that looks sort of like a driftwood wreath for summer. And if you didn't see the post about that or my video about that, these are not bones. Some people guessed they were bones. They're not driftwood. Uh, I don't, can't remember what the other things people guessed they were. These are dried natural cauliflower roots, if you can even believe it. And when I'm all finished, I'm going to look it up on Amazon and get you a link because I know you can get this on Amazon. I think I saw it for $16 where I paid $23 at the Painted Tree. Okay, so we're going to be using this. We're going to use this because this is what I had. I would have rather to do a cross form, but I didn't have one on hand. We're going to use the square wreath from Dollar Tree. And we're going to be using some canvas duck. And um, this canvas duck is like my least favorite because this is the super thin, light um, canvas duck. So we're just going to use it up. But basically what you're going to do, and I'm going to show you why I don't like this too much. I like the thicker, heavier stuff. Is um, we're going to just take some snips to tear some strips. And we're going to wrap our wreath form with that first before we start attaching the pieces of dried cauliflower root. Okay, this is the reason why I don't like this kind of super thin um, canvas duck is because it gets snagged. Do you see that? When you tear it. Um, the strings are great. The snags are not. So before I came live, I tore a bunch. And you guys, I got my iron out because that really bothers me. <coughs> and so I ironed it. And you can still see a few little snags. But I did the best I could. Hopefully this is enough. Um, so we're going to start first by wrapping our wreath. If you don't want to use canvas duck, you could use some of this. I think it's five and a half inch wide burlap ribbon that you can get at... Walmart or or any creamy colored fabric or you could even spray paint this um, if you want it. So and I think this would be beautiful on a cross um, a cross reform and um, if I have enough, I may still do a project like that. So I'm just gonna start by putting some glue on my wreath form, and then I'm gonna start wrapping. And this is almost always how I do this kind of a, a wreath, is I will wrap it in the, the, the metal wire form. Uh, wreath form. I usually wrap it with something before I start attaching my whatever. So let me get this going here. And I probably will come back with a second video, assuming this turns out good. I hope it does. And, um, oh Pat, you're so sweet. I'll probably come back with a second video where we add embellishments like seashells or beach glass or I don't know what. Okay, so the only hard part about doing this is when you get to the corners. And so you're going to just have to add a little bit of glue when you get to the corners. And then just, this is going to all be covered up, but just do the best you can to get it to um, wrap. Somebody who does wreaths all the time probably knows how to do this. I do not. And this is my typical kind of crafting situation. I just do it the best way I can figure out, and I don't worry about it too much. Okay, so I'm going to just glue this down right there. And right there. 
and let's get rid of a few of these crazy glue strings. And here's the start. So let's quickly wrap the rest. Oh, you guys are so sweet. The kind things you say to me. Um, so I didn't say any of my normal stuff. As you are hopping on, I would love to know who is watching. So say hello and tell me where you're watching from. Feel free to sprinkle. I'm going to have to get some more glue sticks. It looks like I am nearly out. Um, feel free to sprinkle. Feel free to ask questions. And like I said at the start of the video, I will look on Amazon and I'll get you a link um, with the information about this dried cauliflower root. I think I saw that you can order it on Amazon for $16 um, a bag. And it's really pretty cool. I have a whole, I emptied my bag and I have a whole basket over here so that we can choose which pieces we want to use. And uh, it would look great just as a filler, a bowl filler too. I will probably come back and cover the back of this uh, wreath form with some more of the canvas duck. Let's keep going, sorry about that. Each time I start a new piece, I am um, gluing it to the back to start. And like I said, all of this is going to be completely covered up and look nice, hopefully. These pieces that I got in this bag are a little bit, they're a little long, but I'm just going to do the best I can and hope for the best. If my sister was making this project, she would know exactly what to do because she's she has the wreath talent in the family. I did not get that. And I'm realizing now that I didn't do both corners the same, but oh well, who cares, right? Where did I get the square wreath form? You know what? I got it from Dollar Tree. And um, I see different shaped wreath forms at Dollar Tree all the time. So... I know they have a beautiful cross one, and I don't know why I don't have it. I had one in my little box of floral stuff that was the shape of an egg, which wasn't really appropriate to use with something that looks like driftwood. And I also had one that was the shape of a carrot, and that didn't seem appropriate either. <laughs> so I really wish that I would have had um, a cross. Because I've been wanting to make a beach, a driftwood looking cross for a long time. Oh, we're getting there. Okay, just think. Probably one more and then we'll be good to go. And I will probably um, create, I'm going to either put seashells or, sea gla or beach glass, sea glass on it. That's my plan. So I think I probably will come back and embellish this in a separate video. Maybe today. We'll have to see how much. I have going on.
down. Nice. Okay, so when I was talking about finishing it, basically what I would do is just glue strips over the back to cover all this wrapping mess. But I'll do that as a separate, uh, maybe as a separate video. Okay, now comes the really fun part, and that's the part where we decide how we want to put these. with the straight pieces, or the straight edge pieces, and then layer some of the really um, twisty ones over the top. are and they're super lightweight. I would have never guessed in a million years that these were cauliflower roots that have been dried. Would you? Okay, so let me just pull out a few to start that are kind of straightish. And I'm my thought was that I'm going to do all different lengths. I just need to bite the bullet and glue the first piece on. That's the hard part. For me. It's the first piece. So as I was getting ready, I noticed that I have barely any glue sticks left. This is all I have. So I don't know if this is going to get me through this whole project or not. I'm like, dang, how did that happen? So I'm planning to layer, but I want to get the first layer on. I do want it um, sort of very um, the sizes. I started out at an angle and I'm trying to kind of work my way straight. I did look overnight when I was not sleeping as usual at a ton of pictures of driftwood wreaths online so I kind of have some ideas. Uh, I might start at the other corner also. These are so lightweight that you could hang this kind of a wreath probably from a command hook. I mean, seriously, the wreath itself weighs nothing, the wreath form, this little metal thing. And then these pieces are light like air.
Well, I'm starting to get worried that I'm not going to have enough glue. Oh, thank you, Yvonne. She says my blouse is pretty. Okay, so this, I know you're not here for a fashion show. Um, but <laughs> this is a cute little dress that I purchased at this adorable shop when I was in Kentucky. Um, and it was it was super affordable and just lightweight and great for Georgia because it gets so hot here. Um, it's not super hot today, but I love just putting on a little dress to wear in the summertime. This is the first time I've worn it. And I have a very exciting day planned today. Um, so I am going to do our devotion. Because uh, today, if you're watching live, is Thursday. And so I'll come live with the devotion at um, 12.30. And then I took Mia to get a haircut. So, and I took a, a picture of her this morning. My husband said, are you taking a before picture? I said, yeah, so I'll show you guys. Okay, look at that. Let's start on the other side so I can have them sort of be even. I don't know if this is boring to watch me do this. If it is, I'm sorry. glue things down a little better. So what do you guys think so far? I tried breaking these to see if I could create some shorter ones and that just was not going to happen. And now I'm looking at it, I'm thinking I need to order some more of this too because I want to do just like some bowl fillers and stuff. Um, and it is, this is really the coolest stuff. In, in case you missed the beginning, what I'm working with is dried cauliflower root. If you can even believe it. And it's super lightweight. It's, it looks to me sort of like driftwood. I did a post um, a few days ago where I, I showed a picture of myself holding the bag and I asked people to guess what they thought I have in my bag. And it was so funny to see what you guys guessed because lots of people said driftwood. But then a few people also had some kind of funny answers. And they, some people said bones. <laughs> like, um, no, I don't think they sell bones like that. But uh, anyways, so these are, this is cauliflower root. reform is going to almost disappear in the background because of the canvas duck that we wrapped around it. So, I hope. 
I need to have two glue, glue um, devices going so that they can be hot. You know what, I might actually plug in a second one. So I can have one heating up while I'm using the other one. And I have absolutely no rhyme or reason how I'm laying these down. I want them to look jaggedy, you know, like what driftwood looks like. And I am planning to, hopefully I have enough to do a second layer. really pretty also um, like as a centerpiece laying flat what do you guys think so far let me see my comments are stalled oh shoot I didn't see what anyone said for about the last few minutes this kind of decor I would describe it as um, as summer um, beachy. You know, I think that's how you would describe things made with driftwood. And this is supposed to kind of look like driftwood. to build a little bit around the edges and I know this takes a while but I really only had the supplies to do one so I couldn't and I usually try to work everything out um, to do a whole example before I start you know so that I can show you guys where we're headed and you can decide if you want to watch but I didn't have enough of anything glue or at these little flower roots to do that. So This project is going to take me a while to uh, get the glue strings off. Okay, so this is how we're going. And I still have a pretty good supply, although I'm starting to get into more just really crooked pieces. So what do you guys think you would like better? Would you like to add sea glass to this? Or would you like to see it um, with uh, seashells? 
I have both, lots of both of those. straightish I really mean straight dish because none of these are very straight. This is going to be cutting it close in both the um, dried cauliflower and in the um, sorry about that and in the glue stick department. like this, the first piece you glue on is the hardest because you're you're overthinking it and you're trying to plan. <laughs> you know, how do you want it to lay in that line? But once you release that and just start gluing pieces on randomly, it looks great, I think. And I wouldn't want it to be all super perfect. Okay, we're getting there. Who's going to try something like this? Who wants to order cauliflower, dried cauliflower root? Tell me in the comments if you do. And um, as soon as I'm finished, I will get that link from Amazon for you guys um, in case you want to go take a peek.
gosh, this is amazing. Already. I may have to run to Walmart. <laughs> or, yeah, to Walmart, because that's where I can get this, these glue sticks that I like. This one doesn't want to stick. Um, I may have to make a Walmart run before I go too much further because I have four pieces left of glue. And I'm not using, um, I have lots of the fabric glue sticks, but they're so much more expensive than the regular that I'm not going to waste them on a non-fabric project. What do you guys think so far? Pretty cool, huh? And I will be tacking everything super down. Now let's find some kind of fun pieces. Look how twirly and twisted some of these are. I just have to decide where to even start laying them. Or do you guys think it looks okay like this? Tell me in the comments so I know what to do. Should I add another layer? I wish I had some short, smaller pieces like this. Um, maybe I'll get my... Let's see if I can cut any of these small. Uh, I'll try my handy dandy wire cutters. Yeah! Hot diggity dog, let's do that. So I'm just doing a little pinch in them and then breaking it. Do you guys like this project? Let me see. For some reason my comments aren't keeping up. Where did I get the roots? Well, I got them at a really fun store in Sandy Plains, which is not too far from where I live, Georgia, um, called The Painted Tree. But you can order them on Amazon. So I am going to, I looked because um, I was so curious to know when I got home from the store to see. Well, I was like, first of all, what do you do with these? I just bought them because they looked interesting and I knew there was something fun that we could do with them. Um, and I saw them on Amazon. And they're like $16, I think is what they were, for a big bag. Which looked very similar. It probably was the same thing as this. Okay, here's what I vote. Let's add a few of these smaller pieces right now. And then I'm going to get some more glue and chop some more pieces and come back later. And I may also order some more of these so that I can do some other crafts because dang these are fun and I'm just laying them in here so that they look really messy. And so that I have different lengths.
my gosh. This is really pretty cool, you guys. And it amazingly does look like driftwood. And the thing is, this is lightweight. It's also very, very glue stringy. What do you guys think? Should, yeah, it's dried cauliflower. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, Melanie. I know it's a shock. This is dried cauliflower. And I may have to get my heavy duty garden clippers out to um, clip some of these batter ones because I am going to need more little pieces. Wow, I didn't think that this project was going to take a whole bag of this, um, but it sure is. we're going to go for right this moment. But before I hop off, I want you guys to tell me your, your opinion, please. Would you rather see seashells on here? Or would you rather see beach glass? There's pros and cons to both. With the beach glass, I'm thinking it would be a different color. It would be blues and greens. And so it might stand out more. With the seashells, it might have a tendency to blend. Would you put it throughout the whole wreath? You know, the whole thing? Or would you think it would look better to um, have it just in a corner? Does it need a ribbon? I want your opinion, please. And tell me, how about both? Yeah, we could definitely try that. A mix of sea glass and shells is what Jean Ann says. It is different, but it is really cute. And I will get some nicer canvas duck to make the back of it look pretty. Um, so I will either come back later today or first thing tomorrow morning to do some more with this. I do have another project that I'm working on right now that involves, let me show you what it involves. It's going to involve this beautiful stencil. This says, every seashell tells a story. I am in process in my house of kind of switching things over from spring to summer and for summer I usually do a ton of beach stuff so well I just see a text from my groomer that Mia is ready she's done with her beauty treatments that's my dog so I'm gonna run right now to grab her when I get home I will get the Amazon information out to you and then in less than an hour I'll be live again if you're live if you're with me today on Thursday. I'll be live again with today's devotional for Go For It. Okay? 